Hey guys, it's Marisha and I think that you're about to like me just a little bit more this week because I'm going to be showing you how to make s'mores cupcakes. Some of the best cupcakes I'm going to guarantee that you've ever had in your life. So let's get started with the chocolate cake. In a bowl we're going to add one cup of sugar, a half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. I just got showered with a little cocoa powder but a little more chocolate never hurt anybody. The teaspoon of salt with a teaspoon of baking soda. And then we're also going to do one and a half cups of flour. And you're just going to whisk all of this together. Don't you worry about that mess. It's going to get cleaned up. You'll see. Whisk this together until it's completely combined. And then we add our wet ingredients, which are one cup of water, two teaspoons of vinegar, a half cup of vegetable oil, and then one large egg. Now I blended up some graham crackers so that they were like a fine, fine flour and the Nutribullet will do that. So if you have one, throw some graham crackers in there. In each cupcake tin, I'm going to put a whole spoonful of graham cracker crumbs and then you just need something that fits in the cupcake tin. So just press it down and compact it and make it like a crust. Now you fill up your tins halfway and these are going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 17 minutes. This is some melted Hershey's chocolate chips. That's all you're gonna need. You can use fancy chocolate if you like, but everybody loves Hershey's. I'm going to dip my cupcakes in the chocolate sauce and I'm purposely doing this so that I get that rim. I think the rim coated in chocolate I mean, if you're like me, you're going to bite all of it off anyway, so it's like an extra little something something, but it just adds to the look and couture-ness of the whole situation here. Okay, we're about to get straight up delicious. We're going to make some normal vanilla buttercream. I'm doing a couple sticks of butter, a couple cups of confectioner sugar, as well as a dash of salt and a splash of whole milk, and then I'm going to add some marshmallow fluff about a half of the container for about two cups of frosting. Now this is the same frosting that is in my frosting buttercream video which I'll link below. Mix all that together and this is going to be the best marshmallow tasting frosting that you've ever had. I'm putting that in a piping bag with a tube tip, just a round tip, and I'm just going to pipe a perfect little s'mores swirl on top. This isn't the kind of frosting that you could burn. It's not going to toast like a marshmallow would because it's still frosting. But you don't need that because we're about to top it off with a graham cracker square. You can also drizzle a little bit of chocolate on top. You can get a little bit more creative. Either way, like I said, you're about to experience one of the best cupcake situations that you've ever experienced in your life. Meanwhile, I had to make a real s'more with these super, super jumbo marshmallows that I found. I taped myself eating this. That is not making it to this video because that was a hot mess. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This was one of the best cupcakes that I've ever had in my life. Ugh. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to follow me on social media and share all of your fun creative pictures with me. Couture and a s'mores cupcake. Bye guys! I have no cupcakes to taste for the cake mista can because I ate it while I was filming. And then I ate it after I finished filming. And now I just have to tell you from my memory because that's all I've got. Here's a picture that I took of the last cupcake as I was con before I consumed it fully. I was even trying to save some for my sister and it didn't work out that way. So I just have to have another excuse to make some more. Yeah, it was delicious. One thing that I wasn't expecting was for the 
graham cracker crust to turn into like a soft cookie. So it really held up nicely in the cupcake. And then the marshmallow frosting, I wanted to do something that didn't involve egg whites. It can be just a lot. But if you do decide to go with that type of buttercream, you can torch it. And if you don't know what I mean by torchable, I mean, you know, when you put marshmallow over the fire and it browns, that was able to brown. This won't brown. I tried it. It will just melt because it's buttercream. If you decide to make this recipe, head on Instagram, tag me at Marisha's underscore couture, and use the hashtag couture. Cagnista Creations. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you see all the couture creations that are going to be coming out of my kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.